Hello everyone, and welcome. The art for this little marker doodle started out as a small, simple test for a new fine liner I recently purchased, a Una, or Uni pin pen in size 01. I didn't really intend to do much beyond use it. <laughs> I didn't intend to color or go forward with the piece beyond inking. There was no sketch done before I went in with the liner. I was just sort of doing a relaxed, informal scribbling. <laughs> but I liked how it was going, so I thought, hey, why not color it and record the process? I did have one issue right near the beginning. I don't know if it's noticeable, but for some reason the ink right at his nose area bled or smudged or smeared <laughs> when I went over it with the Bic Market for his skin tone. It didn't do it anywhere else except there. So here you see me trying to fix that smudge and turn it into a tattoo sort of thing. <laughs> I kind of like how that turned out, but it was not in my initial plan, that's for sure. I kind of tinkered with it for a while trying to mm, make it feel balanced and like it was part of his design in the first place, which I think I think I managed to do pretty well. I was happy with how the tattoos looked. They could have been better, but that would have taken more thought and time and as I said, this was a sort of <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> a sort of casual little piece. When I did decide that I wanted to color him, I knew that my paper wouldn't do, wouldn't be able to withstand watercolor or anything like that. So I obviously was left mostly with markers as an option, and I hadn't used these in a while, these big markets, and I really like them. I have a set of 36, and they're all really beautiful colors, and I enjoy using them. They're especially when I'm doing something like this, which is casual and low effort. <laughs> uh, not that I didn't put effort into it, but I don't know. I wasn't trying to make this finished, super polished piece. <laughs> I was just having fun. So when I did decide on using markers for the coloring, and these ones in particular, I then went and tested a bunch of colors, as you can see on the top right, <laughs> on that separate piece of paper. And I pulled these six. I didn't end up using the purple one that much, but that was okay. There weren't a whole lot of separate areas to use that many colors. I could have used it to deepen the shadows in his hair, which turned out to be blue, as you can see. But I kind of wanted to keep the shading on the lighter side. Or not high contrast, I should say. When I began to color his hair, and throughout the process, it was actually quite relaxing. It was, well, it probably took the longest to do because it's the largest area, and in a way it was the most complicated. But it was a nice experience, just like the initial inking was for him. Sometimes I find that uh, this sort of inking and coloring to be a bit tedious, even in a piece as small as this. But for some reason, this one just flowed and felt good. That feeling 
with a few other variables is why I actually decided to color and record the coloring in the first place. Because my plan for this Monday's video was actually to do a sketchbook tour because I just finished one and I was like, oh, I love doing tours and well, I love watching tours. I love sketchbooks. <laughs> and I was like, that'll be a good Monday video. But for some reason, I just didn't feel chipper enough to do it. Or I don't know, maybe that's not quite the right word. But I wanted to experiment with the recording a little bit and try some new things. And I just, I don't know, I didn't feel up to it. So when I began inking this guy while watching some videos, on YouTube, I was like, maybe I should just record this and put this up instead, and then do a sketchbook, the sketchbook tour on a different day this week. Maybe Thursday. You can probably notice by just how much hair there is that this is one of my lazier ones because there's no the hair covers or makes it okay for that there not to be any more anatomy, no more body to pay attention to, which is an area I'm weak in. So yeah, this is a, definitely a lazy doodle. I didn't really push myself or challenge myself. It was, yep, it was just for fun. <laughs> Not that all of my lazy, just for fun scribbles turn out nice, they obviously don't, but this one did and I was, I was happy about that. I really liked some elements and would like to try them again sometime and do a bit of refining and that sort of thing. I'm using the same marker his for his original hair color just to deepen some of the shadows that I thought there would be <laughs> as I said before I'm not uh, I'm not let's see that good at the shadows yet I just don't I've not studied lighting and the effects it has enough to have a decent grasp of it I kind of wing it at this point In the near future, I would like to spend some time and really study, um, uh, what would you say, portions of art? Uh, there's another word for it. Well, the things that make up art. <laughs> What's the word? I don't know. Anyways, you know what I mean. Just study them and practice using them and I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a cat in the background. It distracted me. I think he wants in, but he'll have to wait a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I want to put some more effort into learning. I am basically self-taught, and I have some serious areas of weakness that I want to work on. I would really like to improve this, like... It would just be nice to be able to draw more things in a variety of different ways. And have it not be always a challenge. <laughs> or too big of a challenge. Uh, oh, here's the end! Wow, that crept up. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed!